Hey everyone, welcome to Elvis the Ultimate Fan Channel. This is a follow-up to a video I posted a couple of days ago about the upstairs photos at Graceland. And if you haven't seen that yet, the link is just showing there now in the top right-hand corner of the screen. A guy by the name of Rick left a comment on the video saying that he thought the floor plan was wrong and the attic door where I indicated it on the original video is incorrect and the door actually access to the attic in Graceland is actually behind the padded doors lead into Elvis's quarters and uh, it, sort of behind the sinks in the bathroom because that is a common wall so uh without further ado what i thought i would do is i would check it out and see if i did make a mistake and the floor plan is wrong and the access door to the attic isn't actually where i thought it was between lisa's bedroom and the uh, dressing room come bodyguard's room so firstly, what you can see here is a closer up view of the hallway that leads from the top of the stairs in Graceland to Elvis's quarters. And yet looking closely, you can actually see a door behind the black padded door opened back, um, almost completely obscuring that door. But there is definitely a door there. And the next photograph I'm going to show you is a still from the opening sequence of uh, This Is Elvis. And this is the part where Johnny Hara, playing uh, the 42-year-old Elvis, goes in to check on Lisa Marie. He's just heading to Lisa Marie's room. The doorway to her room is on his right. To his left is the door to the bodyguard's room and the dressing room. And you can clearly see that there is no door as shown on the floor plan. There's not even enough room for a door. So this really leads me to believe that, yes, uh, I did make a mistake and the floor plan is wrong and access to the attic in Graceland is actually behind the padded door that swung open. Uh, let's have a look at that again. You can see it's it's obscured and it's it uses the common wall of uh, between the hallway and Elvis's bathroom. Now at first uh, I didn't think there would be enough room but I have found and I'll show you that now another picture of Elvis's bedroom and this clearly shows the double doors heading into Elvis's bedroom. You can see the, the nightstand, uh, the, the bedside table, whatever you want to call it and you can see uh, Gladys and uh, Vernon's picture on it, the red telephone. But more importantly you can actually see the uh, area to the left of the double doors uh, leading into Elvis's bedroom. And you can see that there is quite a bit of space between what would be the left hand door and the door leading into the bathroom, which means there probably is enough space behind that door that's shown behind the black padded door to uh, make a stairway that would lead up to the attic. So just to recap, it does look like the floor plan that I used uh, for the uh, original video is incorrect and the access to the attic is not between the doors of Lisa Marie's room and the bodyguard's room, but uh, actually at the end of the hallway leading to Elvis's quarters. Here's a little extra uh, photograph uh, I wanted to show you. It's a still taken from the movie This Is Elvis and it shows uh, the moment where uh, the actress playing Ginger Alden awakes and looks across towards the bathroom uh, and uh, Elvis's side of the bed and notices that he isn't in the bedroom. And just showing on the floor plan, the direction of the arrow shows where the uh, movie camera was positioned to take this shot. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of my theory. Am I seeing uh, what I think I'm seeing uh, behind the black padded door, the access door to the attic? I'll also leave a link to the previous video uh, showing the photographs of the upstairs area at Graceland. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I hope you can join me next time for another episode from Elvis the Ultimate Fan Channel.